Please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning and happy Tuesday, November 12th. Today we celebrate our veterans by wearing red, white, blue, or all three colors. We want to thank all of the military out there from the Army, the Marines, the Air Force, and Navy. We thank you for your service, those of you who are currently serving and those of you who have served in the past known as our veterans. So thank you so much and we honor please remember that every time we say please stand up for the pledge of allegiance this is your opportunity to show respect i often walk into classrooms during tutorial and when it says please stand many of you do not stand i want you to know that that is the highest form of disrespect for soldiers for people of the that go to these marines navy and to fight for our right to have the freedoms that we have you don't have to agree with everything about this country but the one thing that i know is that most of us have family members who have joined these military forces so next time you're asked to stand it is actually not a question it is absolutely an expectation stand up you don't have to put your right hand over your heart, but you definitely need to give the respect that our military deserves. And doing the Pledge of Allegiance is that moment that we get to say thank you for serving this country and thank you for serving for our freedom. So once again, today we celebrate Veterans Day, which is the reason why you had yesterday off. Another thing I wanted to let everyone know was about Wonderment Wednesday. So I think that I have failed to explain to you that Wonderment Wednesday is a choice that I have made to bring to this school and that I use money from the school to bring Wonderment Wednesday to you. For those of you who do sports outside of school, you already know this. It is not free. You have to pay for your uniform. You have to pay for your tournaments. You have to pay in order to be part of a team outside of school. If you're learning an instrument outside of school, it is not free. And so I know that it's very expensive and I decided to create Wonderment Wednesday. If you are in flag football, that organization is charging us a thousand dollars to be here on those Wednesdays. If you are in hip hop, that organization, The Wooden Floor, is charging us $900 to be here and bring that to you. If you are part of the Mural Project, that organization is charging us $14,000 in order for us to provide a mural at the end of the school year during Wonderment Wednesday. When you don't participate in the class that you have selected, it not only is disrespectful, it's very embarrassing. You're not representing SMA. You're not representing your families that had done so much for you to be in this country, in this school, in this time for the opportunity to have enrichment. As your principal, I made the decision to give you enrichment instead of intervention. What do you mean, Dr. Salas? I could use that exact same time and instead of you going to soccer, diamond art, cooking, flag football, hip hop, you could be going to intervention. Maybe you need more help in reading. Maybe you need more help in math. Maybe you need more help in ELD. I didn't want to do that because I know that many of you don't have an elective. And I said, that's not fair to never give kids an opportunity to experience things that they might be passionate about and might want to learn more about in the future. So I chose enrichment over intervention. But scholars, it is a choice. You'll be receiving a survey today, very soon, 
I need you to complete that survey and I need you to know that I'm taking it very seriously. If you really don't like Wonderment Wednesday, if you really don't want us to spend the time and the trouble to make that happen to you, let it be known on the survey. But if you're enjoying it, if you appreciate it, if you're having a good time, that's very important for me to know as well. And I'm gonna take a look at all of the responses and if more kids are enjoying it, it stays. But if more of you are like, I don't care about it, I don't like it, I don't want it, it's gone. We go through a lot more work than I think you realize to bring this to you. So specifically for those of you that are in classes like hip hop and flag football, I need you to remember they're not free, but they're free to you because we are paying for it as a school. If you don't want to be in that class, come let me know. I want Wonderment Wednesday to be something that you are excited about and that you are proud of. But I don't think I've ever told you that it is something very special and unique to SMA. It doesn't have to be here. And if you're not joining your classes during Wonderment Wednesday, you are telling me with your actions, I don't want Wonderment Wednesday. So please don't ruin it for everybody. I hope that you are enjoying it, but if you're not, the next time we talk about it, we'll let you know what we'll do in its place. So moving forward, just wanted to make sure that you all understand why Wonderment Wednesday is a very special thing here at SMA. Food, the lunch ladies wanted me to remind you, you need to take the food from, from the cafeteria or the lunch line and take a 30 second trip to the share table, less than 30 seconds. Boys and girls, I hate the amount of food that we waste. And they hate the amount of food that they waste. But if you don't take three items, a juice, a fruit, or a vegetable, whatever it is that you have to take, they can get in trouble. Auditors are gonna come without them knowing. An auditor is a person that comes in like a detective behind the scenes and looks. If they see that students are not getting three pieces that they need to get, they get in trouble. And it could even mean that they close down the kitchen for a short time because we're not following the rules. If it sounds silly, you're not the only one. I struggle with this every day. But you must get three items and if you have to carry it on your tray or in your hand for 15 seconds, you have to understand that that's the only way we can keep giving you food for free. You don't wanna pay for your food, grab the three items, walk them over to the share table, drop them at the share table, and you're done. But you must get the three items even if you're not going to eat them. Please, the cafeteria ladies are counting on you uh, because they want to continue to offer you free food, but they're going to get audited and they say that many of you are not getting the three items. Please start doing that if you haven't already. To end, we have a new month and new wins. So the first win I wanted to let you know is from Josue Ramirez. Oh, sorry Josue Ramirez, winning a game on Fortnite doesn't count. Not for the wins that we're trying to celebrate, but congratulations, celebrate that with your friends. The next person is an academic win from Kaylee Medorio. Kaylee Medorio made honor roll and she um, uploaded her proof. Congratulations on receiving honor roll. You'll receive a star for the entire class or school. And Sofia Enriquez Barrera also won for the district a bookmark Adobe contest. Congratulations on being the winner. I saw your name and I was so, so proud. So those are the people for this week's raffle. We have a whole week off, so it's gonna be a quick month and we will once again raffle off a $50 gift card. And once this jar is filled, everybody pauses for a prize. Okay. People are getting restless because I've been talking a lot. I hope you've listened to this entire message. If you have any questions, you can always talk to me outside during nutrition or lunch. Have a great week of learning. Bye-bye.